Hi, you guys. It's Yaz. Good morning. Today, I'm going to talk about boundaries because I think it's so important when you're dating somebody or you're in a relationship um, to set your boundaries. And also because I I heard a podcast yesterday, you know, where one of the, the girl was talking about, oh, you know, if a guy doesn't contact me right away, um, I don't show him that he got to me. You know, if he was supposed to call me and he didn't call me, I, I don't say anything and I don't let it bother me. You have to make like you don't care and everything like that. Okay. And I, I wanted to do this podcast because I think that happens a lot. I think that in today's world, because of all the options and everybody is so confused and jumping around, I think that everybody is playing games. Not everybody, but a large percentage of people are playing games. Everybody's trying to do the, you know, play hard to get business, all right? Oh, you know, I won't contact him back for two days or, you know, if he doesn't contact me when he's supposed to contact me, then I'm not going to contact him and everything like that. But what the problem is with something like that is once people start engaging in a lot of games, okay, what happens is the other person is just going to not take you seriously, get disgusted, and move on to someone else and just come back to you, you know, sporadically, all right? What I'm trying to say is if you're looking for a serious relationship, you have to let that person know by setting your boundaries. In other words, if you're talking to somebody, okay, and you're talking to them on a regular basis, and all of a sudden they ghost you and they're supposed to contact you, let's say they don't contact you all weekend, they just disappear completely, and you've been talking to them on a regular basis every day, and Sunday comes along and you don't say anything because you want to play the, oh, well, I'm not going to let them get to me, you know, uh, I, I'm going to make like it doesn't bother me or something like that. What you're doing, what you're doing is you're not holding that person accountable. So that person is going to say, oh, she didn't get upset. I could do this all the time. If I don't want to contact her or if I don't call her, it doesn't bother her. Okay, so she wants to play the game back. That's fine. I don't care because I could do whatever I want. You see what I'm saying? Like, and also it shows that maybe you're not you're not looking for anything serious either. They're not going to take you seriously if you don't set your boundaries. So you have to set your boundaries. You have to let the person that you're dating or if you're in a relationship know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. But if you don't say anything and you just try to play this act like, oh, well, you know, I'm doing my own thing and you don't get to me and everything like that, that person is not going to take you seriously, okay? That person is going to say to themselves, well, you know what? It seems like to her, it doesn't matter what I do, which is a good thing for me because I could do what I want, come back and she'll still be there. She'll still be there. So if I'm talking to this this person and, you know, we're talking on a regular basis and I decide I want to go out with somebody else and cheat on them and I don't contact her, I know that she'll still be there because she hasn't set her boundaries. All right. And the thing is with boundaries is boundaries work with people that really are serious about getting to know you. Boundaries don't work for fly-by-night people that really aren't interested in getting to know you for the long term, okay? That's what you have to keep in, ma- keep in mind, all right? That's how you weed out who means what they say because somebody who, who sits there, love bombs you and everything like that, when you set your boundaries, a lot of times these people fail and they can't, you know, they can't stay within your boundaries of a relationship. So that's where a lot of them fail. 
And um, that's where you get to see when somebody is sincere in trying to get to know you because they will try to not go outside the boundaries that you have put up. You know, sir, you have to decide yourself what you're going to accept and what you're not going to accept. Okay. Are you going to accept somebody ghosting on you? Because if they did it once, nine times out of 10, they're going to do it again unless you set your boundaries. Are you going to put up with somebody who doesn't want to get on the phone with you? All right. First of all, in order to get to know somebody, they have to get on the phone with you. Getting on the phone is completely different than, um, you know, just texting somebody. Getting on the phone is beginning a real relationship in talking. So what the whole purpose of this podcast is, you know, it just struck me when I was listening to someone else and she she was a girl who was in her 20s who was saying, oh, you know, the way I play the game is I don't show these guys that they get to me and, you know, I do my own thing and everything like that and I find that they chase after me, all right? They may chase after you for, you know, trying to get with you or for some other reason, but as far as a relationship, People are not going to take you seriously in who you're going out with if you just let them do whatever they want to do, okay? They're not going to they're not going to take you seriously because you're not taking yourself seriously and letting them know that, you know, I won't tolerate certain things. You know, I am a high-powered person, whether you're a high-powered woman, you're a high-powered man, or a partner, okay, there's certain things that you will not accept because you know your worth. You know your worth. You're not going to tolerate somebody lying to you all the time, okay? As humans, we all lie now and then, but there's different degrees of lies. But if somebody is lying to you on a constant basis and you're just letting it go, letting it go, letting it go, these small things become magnified later on. So you got to you got to put your line in the sand. It's the same as when somebody disrespects you. If somebody disrespects you and starts for instance, yelling at you, and then the next thing you know, they're cursing at you, then the next thing you know, they're pushing you. If you don't set that boundary, if you don't let that person know, I am not going to tolerate you disrespecting me, it is going to escalate and get worse and worse and worse because you're not putting up that boundary. So it's very important to have boundaries and it's very important in knowing yourself as to what you will um, accept and what you won't accept. See, this is the thing. A lot of people don't know themselves. They kind of just go with the flow and say, you know, I'm just going to go with the flow and see how it goes and everything like that. But you have to know what what will bother you and and what you can accept and what you can't accept, all right? So there's certain things in a healthy relationship like a mutual respect for each other. It, it's like a friend said to me, don't do anything that I you wouldn't want me doing. So in other words, whatever you wouldn't want your partner doing is what you shouldn't be doing. You shouldn't, if you're talking to somebody and you're getting to know them and you guys are really vibing and really liking each other, if you wouldn't want them talking to someone, you shouldn't be talking to someone. So that's how you determine your boundaries and say to yourself, well, would I be upset if that person did it? Okay. That's how you decide, okay, this is what I can accept and this is what I can't accept. But You know, I needed to touch upon this because I see it a lot. Matter of fact, one of my girlfriends does it all the time. She's a big time player. She juggles like four different men. She tries to to show, you know, oh, I don't show any of them. You know, I care. I I don't get my feelings involved in everything. Um, You know, she has an attitude. She doesn't trust men. You know, she's her attitude is, oh, all these men lie. And I'm like, you know, that's not true. That's not true. So she's carrying on. She's carrying a scar on her. So the thing is, 
the point I'm trying to make is, yeah, that might be fun for her to juggle a bunch of different men or vice versa. But really, where are you going to be in five years? Is this how you're going to live the rest of your life? You're just going to juggle different people the rest of your life? Or do you want to move forward in your life and build with somebody and enjoy, you know, greater things and, and be able to build a life with somebody and have each other's back and ha- and respect each other? This is what you got to keep in mind. And it's the same thing with the friends with benefits. The friends with benefits is the ruination of relationships because so many women are giving out the sex free and easy that guys don't feel like they need to commit and lose their freedom because men are afraid of losing their freedom, period, dot, end of story. So what do you have to offer to the table that somebody else has, that somebody else doesn't have? You know what I'm trying to say? So the point is, there's millions of beautiful women in the world. You could be the hottest chick in the world. Guess what? There's 10 other ones right there that could replace you. So it's also about supply and demand. That's why I say value yourself. Don't give your your body and your soul and your heart to somebody who has not worked to earn it and have your boundaries up. Have your boundaries. And you know what? The classy guy or the classy woman is going to recognize that. It's going to set you apart from, you know, playing games and acting like immature to the sense like they're not going to take you seriously because they're going to say, oh, you know, she doesn't care. She doesn't care if I call her or not, or she's playing a game. Okay, I could play the game too, you know. I'll contact her when I feel like it, but let me see who else is around. And because they have all these other options, they're not going to sit there and sweat you because they have so many other options that they could run to. Okay, that might have worked years ago when you didn't have all these options, but today you could be replaced like that. You could be replaced like that. So you have to show whoever, if you're serious. Now, I'm not just talking about people that are looking to go out and date and just have fun. That's completely different type of ball of wax, completely different game. I'm talking about people that want to get into a relationship, you have to set your boundaries. You have to set your boundaries. You can't play this game of, oh, well, I'm just going to make like I don't care. And I'm just going to, you know, if he doesn't contact me, that's fine. If he wants to contact me next week, then that's fine. I'll still talk to him, but I'll do that to him. So then what's going to happen? Let's just say, what's going to happen? So he doesn't contact you. Then when he does contact you, you don't contact him for another week or two. And then you talk a little bit and then he pulls it again and then you're going to pull it again. You see what I'm saying? Where it doesn't, you know, you're back and forth game playing until that. So one of you meets somebody else and says, I'm not going to deal with this person. Let me deal with somebody that I could talk to on a regular basis. And I know where I'm at. All right. People don't want to deal with uncertainty. They want to know where they're at with somebody. All right. So, I mean, even, even men, they want to know, you know, is this girl, you know, is she interested in me? Is she interested? Because you have to show interest as well. I mean, I'm not saying you you don't have to be desperate, but you want to show somebody a little interest because if you don't show them a little interest, guess what? They're going to move on to the next one. But when I say show interest, I mean, show interest, but have a backbone, have a backbone. And that's what a lot of women don't do. They show so much interest, but don't have a backbone that they let men, certain men walk all over them and they're still there with the open arms. Like, Hey, it's okay. You know, we had plans Saturday night, but you didn't call me, but I'm so happy that you called me. And I flooded your phone with text messages because I'm being weak and, you know, I'm, I'm, feeding off my emotions instead of listening to my head. Listen to your head. Your head won't get into get you into trouble. Your heart will get into trouble. You need to use your common sense. If people are not showing you interest, they're not that into you. How much 
so interest somebody shows you shows you how interested they are in you. And that's how you gauge how much you can work with that person. You can't make somebody that's not completely into you into you. Okay. And you don't want somebody like that. You want, we like people who like us. I'm not going to force somebody to like me. I'm going to be with somebody who does like me. I'm not going to try to change somebody. I'm going to find somebody that has the qualities that I need to make me happy. All right. That is kind. That is understanding. That is mature. That is ready to have that relationship that knows what a healthy relationship is. And a lot of people, a lot of people, you guys, a lot of people don't know what a healthy relationship is. All right. They don't have the maturity to know that a healthy relationship is a compromise, all right, and that you have to work together, all right, and it's, it's you know, it's got benefits and it's work, all right, it's work. So I had to bring that up and I wanted to, you know, I thought about what I heard on that, that person's podcast about like, Oh, you know, this is how you play the game. Uh, You know, I don't show these guys. If he doesn't call me, he doesn't call me. I I don't worry about it because I got five other guys that I'm dealing with. That's fine. But you're also letting that guy back in that has, you know, gone beyond your boundaries. And you're showing him it's okay that you will tolerate that. And that's not what you want to do. That's not what you want to do unless you never want to be in a relationship. That's fine if you just want to date a thousand different people and you don't care what how anybody treats you. You're just going to jump around and, you know, hoe around and, and jump around from partner to partner to partner to partner to partner and get used. Yes, get used. Yes, get used. Okay. Because um, you're not valuing yourself. You're not making somebody work for you. So you have to value yourself if you want something that's worth something. Okay. Something that's worth something takes work. That's what's valued. And this is what I'm trying to let you guys know. And don't don't feel um, afraid to put that boundary up because you want to know something. A valuable person, a valuable guy or a valuable woman will only respect you more if you if you let them know, you know what? No. That doesn't fly with me. No, you know, you staying out all night doesn't work for me. I'm letting you know you ever do it again. I'm walking away and I mean it and you have to mean it. You can't just walk away and come back because they'll never take you seriously. So you have to set up that boundary and let them know that you value yourself. You respect yourself and you are not going to let somebody walk all over you. Okay, and if they have a problem with it, trust and believe they will be replaced. All right, we don't chase, we replace. All right, I love that saying, you guys. Anyway, I got this inspiration to talk about this because it just really, it really bothers me how so many people, and especially women, women, you know, they they just accept so much beneath what they should accept. You know, you have to, you know, this is why people are getting hurt. This is why people are getting hurt. You're accepting these things because you feel lonely or you feel like there's nobody else around and this person is the best that you could find right now. No, no, because what you accept, you'll have to live with. Unless you could live with that, unless you could live with that, unless you could live with somebody, for example, that, you know, stays out all night, doesn't respect you, doesn't call you, just, you know, contacts you when they feel like it, but it will get to you after a while. You won't be happy. And you have to leave yourself open for the other person. And life will, life is always evolving, you guys. Life is always evolving. You don't know who comes, you'd be surprised how people come back into your life that, you know, you thought you were all alone and all of a sudden, boom, somebody comes back into your life or somebody enters your life. It's always changing. So don't ever feel like, oh, I got to try to make it work with this person because there's nobody else. No, life always change. You just have to be patient. All right. And know your worth. I hope that helps you guys. 
If you like my podcast, please subscribe and share. If you're interested in any kind of email, phone coaching, please go to my website. Link is in the bio. Have a fabulous day.